Hello again! This time you'll be hearing from both of us, Magdalena as well as Josie. But firstly, I want to share with you that Josie and I met in Thailand where she led me through a seven-day fasting detox. I was always fascinated, you know, with the fact that so many people say that fasting can be a life-changing experience. So I had to experience it myself, of course, firsthand. Well, if I was to find one word that describes how I feel, I think I will pick the word liberated uh, or liberating as an experience. I think it's, um, it's just something that opened up inside me that is not just on a physical level, but also on an emotional and spiritual level as well. I feel this expansive energy. Um, they just, they just exist within me, something right. that just kind of like snapped up open and, um, that wants to do new things and um, reach out to new people and forgive and let go and all of that really good stuff. I probably, I don't remember feeling better than I'm feeling right now. Um, I feel clean. I feel extremely light. I feel like my eyes are just bright and energetic. Uh, my skin is glowing. I'm not wearing any, any makeup. I'm not wearing any uh, cream right now. And I have not been doing anything with my face and it's just if you touch it it's just so smooth and beautiful overall very energetic very clear in mind I only slept three hours last night I don't know if if, if this was the previous me three hours would have been with um, black dark circles under my eyes obviously none of that I lost a few pounds around my hips so woohoo to that I'm totally ready for a bikini now I'm heading back to Kuala Lumpur so that's gonna be more pool time and bikini time. Also, you know, all great men like Buddha and Jesus and Moses and Mahatma Gandhi fasted in a past to feel liberated and enlightened and just clean and happy, you know. So as a former Hashimoto's patient, I continuously want to learn and incorporate new things into my life and the lives of my clients and the community who follows and supports me. Because I believe in maintaining excellent health and investing in keeping our bodies as clean as possible because that's the only investment that never expires. In our previous video classes, we've talked about how vitally important uh, the gut and the liver are in the thyroid health. In short, we will never fix the thyroid and hence the fatigue and all that weight, depression and anxiety, high cholesterol, hair loss and all these other frustrating symptoms without having a really really clean and healthy gut and liver. So when doing the fast in Thailand I met Josie and I was very impressed by her. It's not just that she knew so much about detoxification and how the human body works but her um, her soft skills were equally appealing like her energy and her gentle, accommodating presence. I'm sure you saw that on the video yesterday. And generally caring approach. So I thought we would all benefit so much by having her here today to share her experiences and success stories of people she helped to detox. So, you know, really curious, and this is what people want to hear on a call today. What are the benefits of detoxing? Why would you want to detox? Why do people detox? Okay, it's a very good question. So there's lots of different reasons that people come to a detox, but the main benefits that they'll experience during their um, detox experience are increased energy levels, uh, clear skin, uh, a brighter mood, clear eyes. Uh, the big one really is this energy level and um, getting increased. I mean, people really do feel they wake up in the morning feeling energized, their digestion is improved, so... Therefore, they um, they find it easier to use the energy that they take into their body, uh, and, and generally, you know, it's just a better feeling of well-being. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you did mention a couple of times. I remember when I first met you that you had some people with some serious medical conditions that you saw on the spot having incredible turnaround stories. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I mean, that's the fantastic thing about detox. Some things just heal really quickly. Uh, so diabetes is one that I've seen some really amazing benefits um, with, okay? So 
type 2 diabetes. I've seen people come off medication within a few days of being on a detox and wow. never go back onto it. And I mean, even uh, like a couple of years later, I keep in contact with people. They never went back onto their medication because they continued to, you know, take care of themselves. Often it's a big wake up if you're told you've got type 2 diabetes. So people will often put the work in to keep it off. Yeah. Uh, type 1 diabetes as well, which is an autoimmune disorder where people inject insulin. So I've seen people uh, reduce their insulin injections by more than half. That's so unbelievable. Really incredible. That's incredible. It's really incredible, yeah. Uh, and obviously, again, you know, they're, they're going to go home and they're going to be careful with their diet. And uh, in that case, they can remain on these lower levels of insulin. Yeah. Uh, also, eczema. Eczema, mm. although it's on the skin, comes from within. Okay, so the skin is usually a symptom of something going on on a deeper level. Yeah. So I've seen eczema clear up completely while people have been there. Psoriasis improves significantly. And again, these people will come back to me and they say they've refined their diets and their symptoms yeah. have remained. And it's interesting, psoriasis is a very, it's, a, it's an autoimmune disease as well. So is a thyroid condition. A lot of people that I work with, um, have a lot of skin issues, so so it's uh, you know like once you have one or two immune disease, it's not uncommon to have others, right? And so that's a really good example of that. So this is great. I mean, it just I'm so glad you're sharing these experiences with us because that just gives people a lot of hope. You know, the reversal is possible. That you do not have to be putting creams on your skin and which are very much of um, uh, a steroid based creams that are just giving temporary relief and are masking the symptoms, they are not addressing the root cause of the problem. So this is yeah. really, really, you know, something that's just giving people so much hope. So this is wonderful. Um, you know, you talked a lot about the physiological side of the benefits of detoxing. Um, I know from my own experience, it can stretch more than just on a physical level. What about the emotional side? Okay, so this is massive, and a lot of people don't realize it when they embark on a detox, how much it's going to actually affect the way they feel inside their mind. So when your body is clogged down with all this congested matter, when your, you know, your gut is full of congested or oh, fecal matter and things, sounds horrible, but it, it, a lot of people have this problem. Your blood is then toxic, so your brain is getting delivered all these toxins as well. So on a neurological level, of course, you're not going to be able to produce the chemicals you need to feel happy. Uh, and also, if you're tired and feeling depressed and lethargic, how, is, how can you be positive? So by cleansing the blood and by bringing your body back to a state of balance, you, you become more positive. And I see people go through radical transformations and shifts in their emotional self as well as their physical bodies during a fast. Right. I mean, one of the things that came out for me with doing the detox with you, the, the one word that described the whole experience for me was liberating. And not just on a physical level, but also on a very much on an emotional level. Just letting go of whatever was the little things that was holding me back. <clears throat> I just felt like all of that would became so much lighter. So I can imagine people who have, you know, real serious issues, um, like how they can, I mean, when you feel lighter, that, you know, it's kind of the limit, right? Yeah, no, you're yeah. right. And I think a lot of people don't realize when they embark on detox just how much emotional stuff is going to come up and get released. Wow. Uh, and, and, yeah, it's a really transformational experience for for a lot of people, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, that's why we're here today talking to each other. Yeah. I just absolutely love the whole um, experience, and I just feel like everybody else should experience that, you know, um, as well. Let's talk a little bit about weight loss because this is obviously a big topic. That it's an emotional topic for a lot of people with thyroid conditions. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Well, uh, weight loss is an unavoidable side effect of doing a fast. You're going to lose some weight, okay? But the key is that the reason you're losing weight after you do a detox is because you have cleansed your blood, you've released a lot of strain from your liver, so you're actually uh, using and processing the energy that you take into your body more effectively. You're increasing your body's metabolism by cleansing it. So rather than a diet which reduces your calorie intake uh, and feels a bit like sort of, sort of starvation, what this is doing is rebalancing your body so that weight loss is a natural a natural thing for you. I like the way you call it It's uh, that it's, it's a side effect and not an objective. That's a huge shift. Right, yes. and it just sounds like what's really key about this is the intention that you go into a detox with. You're right, and also 
equally importantly, the intention that you leave a detox with, okay? Ah. So breaking your fast is just as important as how you go into it because, you know, it's not... You really need to then uh, get the support so you know what to eat after a detox. Yeah. For example, a lot of people are scared to put on weight to they'll avoid fat when, in fact, the good type of fat is exactly what you need to lose weight. Your cell walls are made of fat. They need the right type of fat to function effectively. So that type of education is really important, and that's why I support a detox. It's a good idea. Yeah, and this is exactly what we're going to be talking about our program, right? Um, you know, <clears throat> is, is to really incorporate the break of the, break of the fast, which seems like a lot of the programs out there don't really focus on that. And I felt that big difference in that as well is like the way you come out of it is kind of sets you up for the success of the detox in the long term. That the benefits you, you you stretch it out for much longer um, than just abruptly coming out of it. So great. You're right. You're right. And your body's like a newborn baby. You know, you've cleansed it. You need to be careful with it. So yeah, it's important to have the right information to do that. Fantastic. Is there anything else you want to share with us? It's a wonderful, fantastic process that everybody should do at least once in their lives. And inevitably, what what happens is they do one. And then the next year they come back and do it again. And I saw so many repeat clients um, because people get addicted to feeling well, and it becomes <laughs> their new their new obsession. They're not thinking about wine and coffee. Oh. They're all going to their health food shop and buying spirulina and getting excited about. I health. I love what you said about addicted to um, to to getting healthy. Yeah, no, yeah. this is uh, this is amazing. Thank you, Josie. That was life changing for me as well. In my own practice, I work with clients on something called the elimination diet, which in fact is a form of a gentle detox. And during the elimination diet, we cut out foods that are potentially not being tolerated well. So we know this from listening to our digestive system. But we're also cutting out toxicity from all the food, water, and the all the emotional stuff. Now this is the path most of my clients feel the biggest shift right away. Um, in a matter of days, they feel a shift in their energy levels, the weight, quality of sleep, skin, and the list just goes on. What about you? What would you be doing if you had your energy return? How different would you show up at work? What about at home? How different of a mom would you be? How would it change your relationship with your husband? Hmm. Now, we have more and we'll be teaching you even more on detoxification this month. There will be a super informative, I call it holy information overloaded call, about the seven sources of toxicity. They've been a huge um, impact on your thyroid and your overall health. Josie and I will be hosting these calls on three dates, September 25th, 29th, and October 3rd. If you sign up for this free call now, just in the box below this video, we will be sending you all the call details right away. I hope this video gave you an idea of what to expect if you too allowed your body a break from toxicity, both on the physical as well as on the emotional level. We look forward to seeing you on our 7 Sources of Toxicity call, and bye for now.